All right, so all you need is this towel. You're gonna start here. Um, roll it up so it's about, so it becomes like a little strap for yourself. Let's go. And then we'll get started on our feet. Why not? So we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're actually gonna bring this towel already right here, right at the base of our neck. As long as we have no neck issues to do that, you're gonna lift up nice and tall. Inhale, lengthen, hold on, what does this say? Lower back and quads, you got it. We can do that, no problem. Okay, sounds good. Actually, I need to do the same thing, so that sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna bring this behind our head here. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. Find your center. Find your head over your tailbone. Take a deep breath in the back of your ribs. Exhale, close the front of the ribs around the front while you press down in your inner feet so you gather those inner thighs and feel energy through the front of your body lifting out of your hips. Do that again. Deep breath in, feel the whole back of your spine as you lengthen behind the ears. Exhale, wrap and pull the front of the ribs around the front of your body, lengthening through the crown of the spine. Inhale, draw your navel in. Keep that belly pulling into your low back. Exhale, pull your belly in deeper to your low back as you wrap the front of the ribs further. Here, you keep the head into the towel as you bring your chin towards your chest. You keep having a, a suspension feeling of pressing the back of your head into the towel as you run forward. Stop midway right there. Take a deep breath into the upper back. Fill your upper back wide and Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, rounding over the chest line, brow line. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, round a little bit deeper. Really pulling your abdomen up and in. Keep the head pressing upright into the towel. Don't have a towel, you can just always use the back of your hands. Inhale, exhale, round. One more time, breathing in the upper back. Exhale, round until you absolutely have to collapse forward and just collapse. Just a nice way to get a big spine stretch right off the bat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out, shake your head no. Just stay here for a couple breaths. Feel yourself hang from your hips or from your legs, I don't know, whichever you're thinking. Bending forward from the hips is what I mean. Reaching your sits bones up to the sky. So you just let your whole spine Reach down to the floor. Here's a good opportunity to already find length in that low back. Breathing in your upper back, rib cage. And every time you're just swiveling here, shaking your head side to side, that you might find a little more length in the side body. And reaching those sits bones one further, what, or switching side to side with the Swiss bones. So you're finding length on one side of the body, reaching out through the top of the hip, and then switch, and then lengthening the other side. So you're extending one side body longer than the other. Keep switching side to side so you just feel length in the back. You can just extend one leg, bend one knee if you want to need to. Keep going, inhale, stretch, spiraling your head and knees as they need to. And then find a center. Find a slightly wider base. Just open up one leg. I'm going to face you guys again here. Your hands cross at the elbow. And you're going to swing side to side very easily. Finding your weight towards the front of your toes. My shirt's coming over my head. And just let your torso swing. Very gently, nothing crazy. Keep reading those sit bones up towards the sky. Feeling weight towards your toes, heels extended. Try to lengthen the back of your knees by extending the back of the thigh. And back to center. You walk your feet back in, hip width apart. Take a deep breath into the back. Exhale, pull your belly away from your thighs as you drop your tailbone down. Zipping up one vertebrae at a time, rolling up. All the way nice and tall. Lift my towel at the bottom. That's okay. Let's do that again. Change your chest. Exhale, roll down. Finding that same suspension that I just had you do with your towel. If you missed it, don't worry. Just think one vertebrae at a time. Going up and over. 
your body as you go down. Grab the towel here at the bottom. So that's where I left it. Bring your hand, your towel behind the head again, or on your shoulders and neck, whatever feels better, but I would go for the base of the head. Keep your neck super soft. I'm talking in my shirt, sorry. Deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, pull your belly up and away, press the head gently into the towel so you feel a really nice round back here. You see that? So you're really expanding and rounding your pelvis underneath you by zipping up that pubic bone to navel. And then I'm going to continue to press down into my feet so I feel this rippling on my spine, head gently pressing up into the towel until I come up nice and tall. And relax that. Good. You're gonna be back up. You come. You're gonna go onto your mat. That's what I'm trying to say. Come to your mat. You're here. You're gonna bring your towel behind your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna choke up on it again, like I had you do the other day. Elbows can be either. Um, let's actually go elbows wide. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. Exhale, tuck back towards your tailbone. Exhale, rock back. And again, this is wants to come from the glute, but I don't want you to use your glute. I want you to find your pelvic floor muscles, the front body. So you inhale, you pull your belly in. Exhale, grow taller out of your hips, pulling your navel back towards your low back even deeper. You keep that inhale, pulling your belly in. Exhale, from that same pelvic floor motion, you rock your pelvis from there. Roll back, so you're just towards the back end of your sits bones. Take a deep breath in the upper back, still pulling my belly in. Inhale. I exhale, I pull my belly in deeper by zipping up that pelvic floor, rocking back towards my sits bones even more so I get more rounding my low back. I take another breath in my upper back, breathing, pulling my belly in. And I exhale, I pull back my belly even more so I scoop and lower my abdomen even more. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, come all the way right back up. Take a deep breath in, pulling my belly away from my thighs. Exhale, I draw my navel up and back, further away from my thighs, and I rock back towards my sits bones. Take a deep breath in my upper back. Nothing in my head, neck, and shoulders here. Shake your head now if you need to test it. Exhale, draw your navel back towards your low spine even more so you get a rounding and lengthening of your low spine. One more time. Breathing in the upper back. Exhale, pull your bend navel down even deeper and go down one vertebrae at a time, all the way down towards your mat. Hug your knees and your chest here. And let your low back lengthen. So the abdominal engagement of that pelvic floor is crucial to finding length in that low back. And it takes practice, the Pilates breathing practice of breathing in on the inhale, pulling your belly in. Of course, you're breathing in on an inhale, but breathing in through the nose to open up those ribs as you draw your abdomen in to feel your upper back expand and those rib cage expand, and then pulling your navel down deeper as you exhale. So we're going to practice that a little bit here. Bring your feet back down towards the mat. If you want to change your towel into a pillow, and place it behind your head just to give you a little length there, right there. So one hands on your on your rib cage. You're gonna inhale, breathe into the heel of the hand as you pull your navel down. So inhale. You feel that belly pull in. Now you increase that pull down as you breathe out. So you feel more wrapping of those ribs around the front as you feel that pelvic floor lift up and away from your thighs. So you feel, should feel everything in case. Now you keep holding your belly down on your next inhale. Feel width across the upper back, expanding those ribs across the shoulder blades. Exhale, pull your belly down deeper, lengthening the spine from the crown of the head away from your tailbone. Again, breathing those ribs. Pulling my abdomen down, I'm keeping that abdomen pulled down. As I breathe out, I intensify that wrapping so I find my deepest, truest, transverse abdominals, pelvic floor working for me to elongate my spine as I breathe out. Should be really strongly working in here. There's two more. Feel those ribs soften and wrap and pull. Zipping up and lengthening. Hip flexors should be soft. Again. Good. 
Relax those shoulders and the breastbone. Again. Feel how strong that is. One more. Good. That should really help elongate your spine. Take a deep breath in. Hands down by your hips now. Exhale. Float your right knee towards your chest from that deep core of engagement. Feel how that anchors from that deep transverse. Toe tap. Inhale. And still pulling down that abdomen, finding that deepest, truest engagement here. Exhale. Softening my ribs, pulling my abdomen deeper down into the back. And mat. Again. Again. Keep pulling that belly down, even more, even more. Exhale. One more. Pull that belly down deeper. Find that low back. And low belly. And switch sides. Inhale. Exhale, left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Finding the deepest, truest muscles you can work as you're here. I just want you to be here to experience. Inhale, pull your belly down. Exhale, pull your belly down deeper. Really finding that wrapping, deepest, truest, core, deep abdominal work. You can find the deepest layer of muscle you can find. Deepest stabilizers. Bring your hand here if you have to to fill your rectus abdominal. It's pulling up. Pushing out, I mean, pull it down. One more. Your belly should not rise with you as you inhale. It should pull down away from your hand. Exhale. And then your belly should continue pulling away from your hand as you bring that left leg up. Good. Keep pulling your belly down as you lower your leg and be there. Take a deep breath in. You're going to barely float your foot off the mat. And as you do this, I'm going to um, take a moment to shout out to my friend Carrie Shea. Taking this from her, from one of her recent videos on YouTube. Inhale, bring that foot down. Exhale, tiny shift. You should find those deep core abdominal muscles, muscles really pulling down to elongate your low back. Really find those deep core muscles working to engage that little abdomen and down. Inhale, exhale, barely float that leg off. Feel how that abdomen's really pulling down and wrapping to float that leg up. Inhale, so it doesn't have to be a big motion. But it should be really working here to stabilize that pelvis and low back. Inhale, exhale. Again, tiny marches. Again, tiny marches. Find your rib cage expanding in that mid butt or back. Feel the little quakes. Again. One more. And down. Good. All right. Arms are right up by the ceiling. Inhale, take a big stretch up. Go ahead, elongate your legs here. Big stretch. Flex through your feet, point through your feet. And inhale, flex the feet. Exhale, pull your arms up away from your head even more. One more time, inhale. And exhale, find those deep, true abdominal morphing muscles to drag those heels in. Your belly's still pulling down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your belly down deeper to plug these knees in towards your chest. And rock those knees in towards your chest here. Good. Big stretch here. Really let the tailbone come off the mat here. So you feel the nice rounding in your low back. Then you bring that back down. And see if you can do that again. Exhale. 
Rolling your pubic bone up to your navel. So you feel your pelvis lift up because your abdominals are doing it, not just because your glutes can engage and do that, but because the pelvic floor, that pubic bone to navel, deep transverse abdominals can really rock that pelvis up and down. Exhale. And down. And I'm not just hugging my knees in. It's coming because of that engagement. And down. And down. And down, and down, good. You're gonna bring your feet down. We're gonna go into a little coccyx curl so we can get into a little bridge which will help stretch out those quads and again, that low back, but we gotta warm up those hamstrings first so we don't cramp them up. So you're gonna inhale, arch your spine just gently. Feel how that you have a little space between your low back and the mat. Then your exhale, again, from that pubic bone to navel, like you're wearing some really tight jeans, exhale, curl. And you continue lifting from that pubic bone to navel, so you lift your pelvis up one, two inches. Maybe just start off with an inch, and then roll back down. Inhale, slide arch, filling that space. And then exhale, come up two inches. Come up one, two, or an inch and a half, I don't know. And back down, inhale, arch. Exhale, always coming from here, though. Long neck, softness in the ribcage, finding that deep scoop, and lower down. Inhale down, exhale, scoop. Really pulling down and in like you're scooping ice cream out of you. Make sure this upper glute is soft and relaxed. We have to shake it out. Don't use that muscle. And down, one more time. Inhale, exhale. So you get out of that upper glute. That upper glute should not be working. This should be working more. Then the low glute, the low pelvic floor muscles. And back down. One more time, inhale, exhale, scoop. Now this time, lift your spine up in a long straight line. Lift, 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 reach those knees nice and long. Push the hips forward, ground in your inner foot, inner big toe, inner heel. Reach those quads nice and long. Feel your hamstrings work. And then roll down the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, scoop, pubic bone to navel. Really finding that deep scoop in you, those two inches drawing up. That leads you up, so then you feel that front of the pelvis working to lead you up towards the sky here. Inner thighs are working, back of the legs working. Dig down into your heels so you get that heel sits bone connection. This upper glute should still be relaxed. Let go of the glutes if you can. And exhale, roll down. One more time, deep breath in, exhale, scoop. You're gonna reach nice and long here, good. Right there, make sure you're out of that low glute by just really zipping up that pubic bone to navel, that upper glute should be soft. You're gonna exhale, bring one knee towards your chest. Now as you bring this knee in, you're gonna reach that leg nice and long over your big toe, so you keep stabilizing this hip. Both hips should be even. That hamstring will really be working and extend that leg. Inhale, exhale, bend and back down and roll through the spine. Inhale, exhale, roll right back up. Again, finding that pubic bone to navel, those two inches really working strong here. To bring you up, you keep pushing your right hip up, find that back of the hamstring, press in your inner foot, bring your left leg towards your chest, hamstring work the lower. I know. Inhale, extend, keep reaching that leg up to over across this midline so you get a stretch in the front of the hip flexor. Point, flex, bend in, I added that that side, and roll down. Hug those knees in your chest. That was a lot, I know. Okay, good. Rock them side to side, but hopefully that got the hip flexor moving for you. You're gonna extend one leg all the way up nice and long. You're gonna Squeeze the inner thigh against your shin here. I think you can see me. Can you guys see me? Yeah. There you go. Okay, we'll be here. So you can see that. My foot and inner thigh are pressing here. You can have that pillow back underneath your head. You're going to inhale, point and flex this foot. Inhale, point. As I flex, I'm going to lift out of my hip so I can find my deep abdominal working. As I flex and bring my outer foot back, so I get that medial line happening from my foot into my low belly. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. <sighs> Pull your belly down longer, reach out through the heel so you find elongation and that low back and your inner thigh working more. 
Then your quad, hopefully. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. One more time. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Take a deep breath in. Keep extending through the heel. Lifting out of this hip. Exhale, bend this knee in towards the chest. Again, inhale, out. Exhale, bend. From the belly, not from the hip flexor. And just keep this leg out. You're going to bounce this leg a little bit. Bounce. Two, three, four, five. It's fine to reverberate. You're going to rock your leg out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Just relaxing the hip flexor first. Get that release. Now you're going to bend it in. Drop it in and out. Bounce it. Drop. Drop. Try to connect to the abdomen. Sit in the hip flexor to bend it in. And we're out, bend it, rotate out, bend the knee out to the side, exhale, close it up. Inhale out, rotate, exhale, bend, and in, and rotate out. Bend, and in, extend out, bend, and open. Reverse, open the knee, just let the leg swim in the hip socket. Open the knee, extend, rotate in, and bend. Always bending from here though. Exhale. That slight moment, you exhale, right before you start bending. One more. Other side, bring the left leg out, and exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Now you inhale out, exhale bend. Inhale out, exhale again, and in. And out, exhale, bend, and out. Just wrap the leg out, out and in. So it's to loosen up the hips to get to the quad, to the hip flexor, which is all very important. And continue to elongate that low back. So you're here, I just remembered, I forgot my quick flex. You're gonna inhale, point your right left foot. Exhale, flex, reaching out through the heel, and lift out of the hip, and draw your low left abdomen side, elongating your low back down towards the mat. So you're really working again those deep intrinsic muscles of your abdominal wall. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Reaching the heel away from your navel. Inhale, pull your belly in. Exhale, wrap and cinch. Find those deep, true intrinsic muscles working again. Exhale. Feeling the back of the leg work nice and long. Exhale, bend that knee in. Then you rotate out, or you extend it. Rotate out, bend the knee in, exhale, close. Inhale, out, rotate out, bend the knee, exhale, close. Inhale, out, rotate out. Exhale, bend, rotate in, and out. Bend, and in. Reverse, you open the knee first, you extend the leg, rotate in, exhale, bend. Rotate out, extend, rotate in, and bend. Out and lengthen, rotate and bend one more time. Out, extend, rotate in and bend. Good. Open up both knees here. Just let your hip flexors take a little stretch here. Depending on how you feel, you can always increase the stretch by bringing your heels closer to your bum. That might get into your low back, so just bring your heels away from you so you find your low back down on the mat. And that's actually the most ideal way. Find your low back on the mat, okay? So that's what you want to protect your spine. From here, you're gonna exhale, zip up that pubic bone to navel again. Feel that low back really imprinting in the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your inner thighs and then resist your own knees. So you're really gonna zip up that pubic bone to navel. Close your knees nice and slow. So you get that midline from here pulling down. If you have to freeze. Exhale, pull the abdomen down and close the knees, close the knees, close the knees, close the knees. Pull that belly down, 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 and relax. Okay, nice. Back up to sitting. All right, so, let me see that there's a little notice here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so we're here. We're gonna be on our hands and knees. We're going to do a little cat-cow here. Inhale, round. Just do whatever cat-cow feels best for you. Exhale, extend. Again, getting in that low back. Don't worry, we're getting to the quads. Inhale, round. And exhale, extend. Inhale, round. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, round. 
Exhale, extend. You can add a little rotation out if you want to. Keep going. Just get the whole spirals of your spine moving. And reverse. Inhale as you look away. Exhale, round. Just do whatever feels good to you. Just feeling all the parts of your body warming up. And last time. There. Good. You're going to sit back to a child's pose for a minute. You're going to come back to your hands and knees. Find your tabletop, okay? Then you're gonna shine your breastbone forward, lift up from the abdomen, stretch forward in the quads here. Then come back, this is your next cat cow. Inhale, step back. Exhale, ripple through the spine. And lift the chest up. And back down. And come back up, ripple through the spine, widen your collarbone. Feel that belly lifting up, so I'm still really active in my front abdominals, I'm still really feeling my pelvis wrap up and forward. I'm squeezing my inner thighs and lifting through the pelvic floor. Then I extend my chest at the very top. My belly is still actively lifting away from the ground. Before I come back, just do one more. Fill the space between your inner thighs. Gather so you can find that pelvic floor and then extend the upper body up and sit back. Breathe here. And come up. We're going to do one thing for arms before I end with my last final stretches for the quad and hip flexor. You're going to extend one leg out. Before you go there, make sure your upper arm, your arm position is correct. Hands underneath your shoulders, upper arm wrapping, elbows soft, upper body nice and wide so you have no chicken wings sticking out. Mine particularly. Squeeze your heels together. Put your, push your hips gently forward. Pull your abdomen up and then extend your chest forward. So you're in a nice long spine. Okay, then hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and step back. From there, you're going to bring your left hip forward, left foot forward, excuse me, to stretch our right hip. Your left hip is here. We're going to first start in this 90 degree angle. I did this the other day with my leg stretch series. Another uh, client, um, yeah, client, friend, asked for leg stretches, especially with the quads. So, if you're like me, working out a lot, or walking a lot, or hiking, whatever, running during this quarantine, you need this a lot. So you're gonna start in this 90 degree, just like I started doing hinge forward from the hip. Before I do that, actually, I'm lifting out of my hips gently, so I feel that abdominal engagement, this long line in my front abdomen, and I'm lifting through the front body, and then I push in the front heel to come right back up. Now it's super important, if you have any issues, you can always put a pad in here. As I showed in my last um, class that's on YouTube for leg stretches, you can always do the standing. This would just be a standing leg with your foot on a chair. You have options here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come up. Coming back from the center, one more. Inhale. Push that hip forward. Go as far as you can. Just watch where you bring that leg. Let's actually scoot it out a little bit more. So when you go into this deep lunge, your knee is over the heel still. Good. So you're in this really nice long line. You're going to bring your right hand up. Inhale. Lift out of your waistline. Side bend towards your side standing leg. Really allow yourself to lift out of the hips as you sink your hips gently forward towards your standing leg. Inhale and then come right back up. Hand on the knee and sit back. Go ahead, flex the foot. Again, if you can, if your knees allow, otherwise sit on a pillow cushion and then sit back here this way so then you also get a stretch in this back leg. Before you just don't sit back and down, your hips get twisty. So make sure that your heel is solid and you're reaching back into this hip. So both hips stay even. So I'm gonna think of leading with my left hip reaching back so I can sit back towards my right foot. And I'm really tight today, oh my gosh. I went on a four mile walk yesterday, that was really nice. But oh my gosh, it made me tight. And then come right back up, do that again. Inhale, sit back, leading with the left hip. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale up. And again, inhale, lengthen, and exhale up. To get into the inside of your leg, you're gonna rotate yourself so you're just sideways here. And you're gonna side bend in, it'll get really big 
into that inner thigh and up. So I'm always starting again with my hip over here and then I'm gonna reach my knee over my toes. And I'm gonna think of expanding sideways. Inhale, lengthening, reaching, and then back up. Do that again, inhale, and lengthen. We go to the other side. I'm just gonna turn around like this. Your right foot goes forward to stretch the left inner thigh and quad hip flexor here. Starting in that 90 degree before you start hinging forward, inhale forward and up. And again, I'm always lifting up out of my hip to start the initiation of rocking forward. I don't just go because my knees can go. I lift up, leading with the pelvis. That's important. So you're finding length there, still squeezing those inner thighs and back up. Inhale and up. Now if you really want to be into that low back. Grab the flesh that's here, this upper glute flesh. Big, make a big fist and push that flesh down and away. So it actually helps you get out of that low back. An opportunity to actually lift out of the front of the hip. Inhale. And you can just massage yourself here. And exhale back up. Go ahead, play with that. If you want. And exhale up. Good. Now to get a little deeper, bring your foot slightly further away if you have to. And then again, still leading with this pelvis, lifting up and out, hinge forward so your knee ends over that ankle. And up. Inhale, lead, lifting up to move forward. Oh, that feels good. And up. Stay there on this one. Inhale, you bring your hand up. Your side bend, I'm still lifting out of the side body, feeling that belly pull in as I breathe in. And exhale, come up. And on the knee to push yourself up. Go ahead and rotate towards me here. And then again, finding this knee over your stabilizing side. And then you hinge sideways, inhale and up. And again, as I open, I'm thinking of the knee and hip going away from each other. So the knee's going over my big toes. So I get a really big stretch in that inner thigh, which really helps open up the hips, which will also help you open up that low back. Inhale. Exhale up, one more time, inhale, and exhale up. And let's go to our knees, and we're gonna face sideways again. You're gonna inhale, lift up. You're gonna do a swan dive down this way, but this time you're gonna go down on the flat back, flat back, flat back, flat back, flat back, hover off your knees, and then all the way down. <sighs> Take a couple breaths here, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out. Two more. Pull your belly away from your thighs. Forehead on the mat. Shoulders relaxed, breathing in the back. Exhale, belly away from the thighs. And one more. Exhale, tuck back, reduce its bone. And roll up one vertebrae at a time. And that is it for today, guys. So thank you so much for joining. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.